Hello, my name is Daniel Dreyfus. I've been a commercial roofing consultant since 1989. I'd like to give you a broad overview of the different types of roofing system materials and solutions so that you can better understand how to sift through proposals and find what might work best for your project. The categories we're going to cover are built up roofing, TPO, PVC, modified, and cold process. Built up. Built up is the old standby, the oldest of the materials, uh, the original commercial roofing system. It's called built up because it's layered over to used to be rag felts. Today is uh, fiberglass reinforced felts. The cheapest would be the three ply or base ply and cap. Better would be four ply. You've got mopping layers of uh, hot asphalt. The drawback with oxidized, it's oxi oxygen introduced during manufacture to solidify the asphalt while it's heated and processed and manufactured, is that it's an inherently brittle material and the aged elasticity is quite low. You'll see even on the brand new kegs, the roofers will take an axe and chop them into chunks to throw them into the kettle. You also want to make sure that the application temperature is correct, plus or minus 25 degrees of the evenly heated or equiviscous temperature because if it's overcooked or too cold, you're not going to get the proper weatherability out of your built-up roof. Four plies better than three. They can be surfaced with a cap sheet, mineral granules to retard ultraviolet degradation, or aggregate, gravel or slag. Slag actually better a pumice to absorb and disperse water from the surface. Most of the problems with built-up come at the details, pipe flashings, drains, edges, um, you can use a modified flashing cement to improve performance or even a modified membrane for your flashing details. Also at an extra cost, lead flashings flashed into your drains and pipe flashings will add longevity to the built up system. Uh, next let's have a look at TPO, one of the new, newer materials you know, out about 15 years. Predecessor to that was PVC, polyvinyl chloride, the plastic roof, typically white, reflective, lightweight. I guess we really ought to start at the beginning. The first of the single plies, he built up as multiple plies, so single ply, one ply, but a different material. The first was EPDM, a rubberized roof, ethylene polymer, diene monomer, same stuff they make, the, uh, some of the rubber materials in a, under, that you'll find under the hood in a car chemically resistant, tough stuff. It's a thermoset chemically, so you're not going to be able to heat weld the seams. They have to be glued with an adhesive or butyl seam tape. So you got to make sure you're not using the same old rag to wipe it down. They have to be free, clean of contaminants to get good bonding. One of the things to check on EPDM is the system ages sometimes can shrink a little bit, so you want to make sure your perimeter flashings are tight to be able to withstand any extra tension and stress that get on there. PVC came along, it's got a, a problem with plasticizer migrations, the early unreinforced problems, catastrophic failure, but it's been out for about 30 years now, and the, the formulations are quite stable. Uh, more mill thickness is better than less, an 80 mil sheet is better than a 40 mil because you can lose some as it ages to chalking and oxidation. TPO has come in the last 15 years to replace PVC without any plasticizers to migrate out of the sheet and cause it to become brittle whatsoever. It's not quite as pliable to start with, um, so you need to be a little bit more careful with getting the heat welded seams. Both PVC and TPO, thermoplastic polyolefin, are uh, thermoplastic single ply membranes, which means they can be heated with a hot air uh, gun and a roller with pressure, so you get a heat welded seam which is very strong. Puncture resistance is a question. Again, mill thickness is a variability. As a solution to some of the built-up issues with inflexibility, the modified membranes or polymer, mod polymer, polymer modified asphalt membranes were introduced, typically APP and SBS. One is plasticized, the other rubberized. The SBS is typically has a lower melting point, can be adhered with hot asphalt better for freeze-thaw cycles because of the flexibility of the sheet. APP better in hot climates, California, Texas, Arizona, better UV resistance. Requires a, it's got a higher melting point, so they're typically going to put it on with a torch or a uh, heat welded seam. Uh, to overcome some of the problems with uh, fire safety in those uh, 
conditions. Modified membranes are also available self-adhered. Not quite the same seam strength, but a self-stick, peel and stick backing. Modified membranes, we like to see them with a polyester core so they can be formed to make flashings for pipes and drains. They do require positive drainage, uh, not good for ponded water. Cold process roofing materials are a little bit different than modified and built up in that they're never using an oxidized asphalt. The cold process is a colloidal suspension of asphalt, meaning it's kind of whipped up with water and it's never heated. Then the water just flashes or evaporates out and you're left with the unblown soft asphalt as a weathering agent, typically stabilized with uh, something like bentonite clay, which gives you great resistance for uh, pond liners and ponded water, and then surfaced often with a reflective uh, aluminum, or more typically in our Southern California region, with an acrylic to meet the Title 24 cool roof requirements. So that's a basic overview of the major roofing systems that you'll be evaluating, so it'll help you when proposals come in to understand what's being offered. Many other considerations come into effect, your drainage, your special conditions, uh, chemical resistance, a variety of other issues. Uh, to get more information, we'd like you to have a look at commercialroofingmanagement.com. If you look at the contact page, there's a link to my blog site with some additional tips and hints. I hope you'll find useful. Thanks very much. Yeah, have a good day.